Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Liz, for those of you that don't know me, and I'm so excited to share our devotional with you today. Hopefully, you guys were able to do it with your family. If not, that's totally okay. Just have your papers out, fill in the blanks, and just follow along as we go. For those of you guys that don't know, we actually do go over a four-letter word called SOAP, S-O-A-P. I'm just gonna go over each one with you in case you have forgotten. S stands for scripture. Scripture is just basically a very fancy word for the Bible. So I might say take out your Bibles or take out scripture. O stands for observe or observation. It's kind of a long word, but that's basically when I get my magnifying glass and I look into God's word really, really closely like this. And I try to find one thing that I learned, one thing that stuck out to me, one thing that I feel like God is trying to teach me, and I'll write that sentence down. And then I go into A, which is apply. Apply is when you ask yourself, hmm, how can I live my life differently now that I have read this and learned? Or how can this apply or relate to me in my life? And then we are at P, which is pray at the end we're gonna pray to god and just talk to him about everything that we learned okay so we're gonna go through each of those letters starting with s scripture or the bible all right so for our devotional today we asked all of you guys to read joshua chapter 1 verse 1 to 9. we're not going to read the whole chapter we just asked you guys to focus on one verse which is verse 9 but i'm just going to give you guys a quick overview just to let you guys know what's going on in the story okay so Moses, he's the leader of the Israelite nation. And for 40 years, he has been leading the people into the wilderness to get to this promised land. Unfortunately, Moses was very old and he has died. So God chose a man named Joshua to be the new leader of this nation. I'm imagining what Joshua must have been feeling. He probably was feeling nervous, afraid. But you know what, boys and girls? God had one sentence for Joshua, and this sentence is what we're going to read today, and it's for all of us too. So let's dive right into it and see what God said to Joshua, okay? So we're going to read Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. If you guys don't have your Bibles, that's okay. It's going to be right in the screen right here. Have I not commanded you, Joshua? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. All right, so that was our scripture. So what I want you guys to do if you haven't is just write that verse exactly word to word on your paper where it says S, all right? All right, so now we went through S, we're gonna go to O, which is observe. One thing that I observed or I learned from this verse is this. Very simply, God tells Joshua to be strong and courageous. Is he telling Joshua to have muscles and to curl at least um, 10? One. Okay, I can't, I can't go past. Well, let me try two. Is that what God's telling Joshua? I don't think so, you know. As I was studying this verse, God is telling Joshua to be strong in the Lord. To be strong in the Lord means to find your strength and courage in God. My point number two, which is this, that God promises Joshua that he will always be with him wherever he goes. It doesn't matter what the circumstance is. Joshua, I'm telling you right now that you can keep on going because I will be with you every single day, every step of the way. All right. Eventually, Joshua does bring all of the Israelites into the promised land. Woohoo! It actually happens. But I want to remind you guys, it wasn't because of Joshua's abilities or talents, but ultimately, like we learned today, it was because of God. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to stop right there, and I want to jump right into A, which is application. How does this relate to all of us? God wants us to be strong and courageous in God and to know that He is with us always as well. All right, now we're going to go into our prayer. So what I like to do is I like to write my prayer down, but because we're all doing this devotional together, I'm gonna close us in prayer, okay, boys and girls? So put your hands together. Parents, if you're there, feel free to pray with us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for teaching us the story of Joshua, God, in Joshua chapter one, Lord. 
you encourage Joshua in such a great way, telling him to be strong and to be courageous in you. Thank you for reminding us that we could trust and rely and have faith in you, Lord. We love you so much. We're excited for our devotional day number two tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen.